If you've been following the videos in order, we have already looked at the components of a central processing unit, each of the five key registers, and the three buses. Now we're ready to take an in-depth look at what happens in the fetch the code execute cycle. In the FDE cycle, instructions are fetched from RAM and transferred into the CPU's registers so they can be decoded and executed. RAM consists of billions of numbered memory locations that store data or instructions. The first thing to know is that the program counter, or PC, stores the memory address of the next instruction that is to be fetched from RAM. The memory address in the program counter is copied into the memory address register, which holds the address currently being accessed in RAM. After copying, the program counter is usually incremented by 1, as it always points to the address of the next instruction. However, it may not always be by 1 if there is a branch instruction, and we'll look at that more in the assembly language videos. The address in the MAR is sent on the address bus. At the same time, the control unit sends a read signal on the control bus, telling memory to place the contents of that address onto the data bus. The data or instruction from the location identified on the address bus is transferred along the data bus and stored in the memory data register. The MDR temporarily stores the instruction or data when it has been fetched from RAM. If it is an instruction that has been fetched, this is then transferred into the current instruction register, ready to be decoded by the control unit. The control unit decodes the instruction to determine the action to be carried out. The binary instruction is split into an opcode, which is the operation to perform, such as add or load, and an operand, which is the data to use or the address of the data. We'll look at that again when we look at addressing modes and assembly language in section 2. The CPU now carries out the instruction that was decoded. This might mean performing a calculation or logic operation in the arithmetic logic unit, such as add 5, or loading data from RAM, such as load 100. The accumulator is used for both of these actions. The accumulator is a register that temporarily holds data currently being processed by the CPU, including values transferred from RAM via the memory data register. It also stores the results of arithmetic and logic operations performed by the arithmetic logic unit. Other actions in the execute stage include storing data from the accumulator back into RAM, such as store in memory location 129, changing the program counter for a branch instruction, such as branch always loop, or interacting with input and output devices. Once the instruction has been executed, the cycle will repeat. The FTE cycle is performed billions of times a second, and this cycle will repeat by returning to the fetch stage and looking at the program counter for the address of the next instruction to fetch.